What a year it has been for the new private homes market in Singapore. As we progress into 2020, it is important for us to reflect on the market movement and understand the driving forces at play. Why are certain regions attracting more demand and investment dollars than other locations? Where are these locations? Are you able to look into the crystal ball and understand what's in store for you as a property investor? Now, in this Greater Southern Waterfront video series, I hope to provide you with the vital information that helps you uncover hidden gems that may have eluded you all this while. I'll be analyzing the immense potential of Districts 3 and 5 alongside the Greater Southern Waterfront and the many little known contributing factors from the surrounding prime districts. That's the reason why I am zooming in to Districts 3 and 5. Now, if you study the transaction volume so far over the first nine months of 2019, you will notice that Districts 3 and 5 are among the top three best-selling districts for new launches. In fact, when you study the transaction value, District 3 tops the chart at more than 2.1 billion and District 5 ranks third at more than 1.4 billion. This reflects the confidence and demand that the market is placing on these two neighboring districts. Now, let's take a closer look at the projects behind these impressive figures. Essentially, we are able to zoom in on nine core projects that are putting up those numbers. You see, in District 3, we have Avenue South Residence. You may have recalled the headlines when it sold more than 90% of the initial release of 300 units on the very first day of launch. And of course, we have one Pearl Bank which sold 160 out of 200 units released within the first day of launch. And we have Revere, the iconic landmark seated on the unique location of the Singapore River. You know, some of us may be familiar with Sterling Residences and Margaretville. They command breathtaking views of the surrounding growth areas and are both within three to six minutes walk to Queenstown MRT station. And of course, we have Atra that's just right beside the doorstep of Red Hill MRT station and that alone will uphold the demand and value of that project. And over in District 5, we have Clematis, a much-awaited new launch in Clementi, sitting on a 400,000 square feet of land with three 50 meters pool, five clubhouses and a 100 meters beach-inspired pool. Whistler Grand that rides along the benefits of One North, Tuas Port and Greater Southern Waterfront. And for buyers who love nature and facilities, Kenridge Shield residences offer direct access to Kenridge Park. It commands serene and exclusive park and sea views with over 70 condo facilities and also rides along the development plan of the Greater Southern Waterfront. Now, one of the reasons behind those impressive sales numbers is really about the strategic location of districts 3 and 5. A quick question for you, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever wondered which are the districts beside 3 and 5? You know, if you look at the map of the different districts, you'll realize that District 3 is just right beside Prime District 9. And District 5 sits right beside District 10. In fact, many of the investors in D3 and 5 are buying here because of the convenience and close proximity to the central region without having to fork out more than $3,000 to $4,000 per square foot for an Orchard Road property. And not only are upgraders coming into these districts, residents who are staying in the prime central districts themselves are also investing in 3 and 5 due to the massive infrastructure development that are taking place. I'll be sharing more details in my next videos in these districts. For example, in D3, we have Tiong Bahru, a hip hotspot for cafes, heritage, and old school charm. You'll also find SGH Campus, which will be Singapore's largest medical hub, spanning 43 hectares and is currently undergoing redevelopment. The Pearls Hill City Park will undergo a massive makeover as well. 
And over at District 5 is where you will find Dover Knowledge District, which is the extension of One North that forms a massive research synergy hub. District 5 also consists of Maple Tree Business Cities, which boasts of major tech firms such as SAP Asia, Google, Cisco, Wirecard, and Samsung. District 5 is also a part of the Greater Southern Waterfront. Hence, with the focus of development around these two districts offering an enormous pool of quality tenants, you can now see the reason behind the statistics that I've shown you earlier in this video. My name is PK So. I'll be sharing more details of the development plans of these districts in my video series. Please visit my website, singaporegreatersouthernwaterfront.com. Drop me a message on my cell phone at 9697-1131 so that I can send you a meticulous map that offers you a good overview about the potential of D3 and 5. I look forward to seeing you in my next video and assisting you in your real estate needs.